you now want to share with our viewers some, uh, again, of this exchange uh, during this morning and early afternoon as the justices heard these arguments. This is the lawyer representing Colorado answering some of the questions. How is Section 3 a qualification? Um, I, I, under the reasoning of the Colorado Supreme Court. Uh, no, just on, on, the, on its face. A, a, a candidate must have meet all the criteria for eligibility, and I don't perceive any distinction between being meeting the eligibility okay. cri criteria and not being disqualified. Um, there's, I just don't see any meaningful difference between those two things. That was uh, Shannon Stevenson. For more, let's bring in Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold. Uh, Jenna, talk to us about what you heard today and what you make of these arguments um, that seem to suggest the justices will rule um, not in favor of the Colorado Supreme Court. Well, first off, thank you for having me. Uh, and I think we just have to wait to, to see what the justice's decision is. Um, a, a lot of times you can't actually gleam what the decision exactly will be from oral arguments. Um, but I, I will say it's so striking being here at the United States Supreme Court in the shadow of the United States Capitol, where Congress people ran for their lives and our Constitution came under a, assault. And why it's so striking is Trump continued to lie about his role in the insurrection. Uh, I hope the justices see through his lies and uh, underline that it is within state authority to keep off oath-breaking insurrectionists from our ballots. I also hope that the United States Supreme Court confirms whether or not an insurrectionist can serve a second term as president. Uh, Secretary Griswold, um, the Supreme Court justices really seem to have a lot of concerns about the power of somebody in your office uh, and in the offices of all 50 states to keep a national candidate off of a ballot and the potential that it could be misapplied, politically uh, driven. How do you what do you think about that concern? It's definitely something the justices brought up. And to be very clear, I did not make this decision. This decision was made by a, a trial court and then a Colorado Supreme Court's review. Uh, and, and honestly, states all the time affect each other in elections. Uh, following the court's questions, if states are not allowed to affect each other, then heck, Georgia, Texas, and Florida better get rid of their voter suppression laws. Because when they suppress the votes of working people and people of color, it affects Coloradans in our congressional representation and potentially in the presidency. And in terms of the argument that the, the Supreme Court is focused on politics, I don't think have, being afraid of Republican witch hunts or Republican t uh, temper tantrums should be a reason not to uphold the Constitution. Uh, so I, I do think that the language of Section 3 of the 14th Amendment is clear. Oath-breaking insurrectionists should not be on the ballot, and they should not be serving in elected office in this country. And, and that same uh, provision, though, notes that Congress can, with a two-thirds vote majority, kind of override that limitation, that disability. Uh, former President Trump was not found. You know, Congress put him in the clear effectively. What do you make of the justices' questions and arguments that, uh, you know, the 14th Amendment, Section 3, actually does not apply and that Colorado overstepped its bounds by disqualifying Trump? Uh, to, to be very clear, Congress did not put Donald Trump in the clear. Uh, they could choose to do so, and they've had years at this point to choose to do so, and they have not. Uh, decisions about enforcing the law or the Constitution should not be based on some hypothetical of tomorrow that may never come. If that was the case, then heck, criminal laws would never be enforced because they could be waived by a governor uh, if someone was held uh, 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 guilty under a criminal law. So I, I do not think that we should make decisions based on hypotheticals. If Congress wants to act, by all means, it can act. But it has shown no indication that that is going to happen. Secretary Griswold, um, how do you feel like today went for you? Were you surprised by anything? It's just so hard to tell from oral arguments. Um, I, I think something that, that was so striking was Trump's lawyers' positions. They, they argued in the United States Supreme Court that insurrectionists should be allowed on ballots and that even if Trump was found guilty of the crime of insurrection, 
he could still run for president again because of presidential immunity. Section 3 of the 14th Amendment is there to protect the nation. It recognizes that insurrectionists are a danger to our nation, and if they're in elected office, they can dismantle democracy from within. Regardless of how this case comes out, democracy is on the line, and the American people can save democracy this year during presidential primaries and in the general election. All right, Jenna Griswold, the Colorado Secretary of State, thank you for joining us. Thanks. Thank you.